Oh no, it's a Hemi. Real Hemi Challenger RT. Okay, slide walk. Show you some of the cars that are here at the very first McCacken Muscle Car Meetup at the Gilmore Car Museum. See what kind of cool stuff we have. You look sport wagon. First old to Indianapolis 500 car. And then if you've never been to the Gilmore, they have a bunch of cool car museums on property. And then there's a bunch more that way. I don't know if you can see the red barn over there. Red barn there. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. Nice 7 Cuda. <laughs> GTO Judge. And I'm not going to go in the museums today because I've done those videos before on Instagram and Facebook. But I will be back here in the future. I just want to show this rebel machine. There's two here, actually. Looks like a pretty original rebel machine. Or I should say beat up. Man, that thing looks original. And of course, 70 wind, or 70 Challenger RT in my favorite color. Limelight. That's I'm skin. That's Plymouth. Sublime green for Dodge. 446 pack car. And then here's another. Oh, I don't know why it's weirding out. 71 or 70 Challenger RT. Looks to be another six pack car. Oh no. It's a Hemi. Real Hemi Challenger RT. That is really cool. Nothing like a 1970 Hemi Challenger RT to wake you up in the morning. And right next to it's a old 442W30. You know, that old chestnut. Well, I think it's, actually it is. No, this is a historical. And then over here is actually probably my favorite. It's a Mustang California Special, like barn fresh, all patinaed out and such. Yeah, we have a dog. And just really, really cool. And you can see that they mechanically restored it. Got some Dodge Cornet RT, GTX. Oh, there was another Mustang over here, but I guess they left. It was right here. Really cool Survivor. I'll put a picture of it at the end. And you can hear it here, but I have a video later of the dragsters running. What's Butch leaving? Oh, Chevelle's leaving. One of Chevelle's. First Olds. Green GT convertible. Shelby, or that is a factory Shelby GT350 supercharged car. If you can hear me, <laughs> wow! And, oh, and there's a '67 Comet. This area of the show is cool. These are all cars that are either owned by people who work at the show or people who have had their cars in the show or will be in 2018 or 2022. 
And here's the famous black ghost. The famous black ghost. And then this is a cool one. It's a 71 Sport Fury GT with factory sunroof. Very rare. This was restored by Market Magnum Restoration. Won all the awards a few years ago. That on the, the guy in the green shirt is Mark. That guy right there. He restored, he helped, his shop restored it. Um, we'll go on. Magnum Restoration. There we go. They did work on my car. It, it was great. And next to that is our friend's A12 Super B. Real A12 Super E. Never seen them with, uh, then we got, sorry, 7442 convertible and 7442 W30. That was unveiled last year. And just a bunch of other cool cars like Total Day 2 Camaro, Cougar Eliminator. And I think this car right here is the actual, like, the actual Indy Pace car. Bunch of cool stuff. And then here's our display, or the display for the McCacken show. There's Abby, always hiding. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Beautiful 69 Charger RT 440 car. I took a couple of detailed pictures of that 71 Challenger RT, but there's just so much here. I don't have enough time. 421 Catalina. Hemi Corner 500. Another 69 Charger RT. But I found the black shirt in the bottom of the sixth. Ryan's here. Yep. And that man right there is the man who's in charge. See how everyone backs away from him? That is the Bob Ashley. I mean, Ashton. The real Bob Ashton. Except no substitute. He's the guy that runs the McCacken show. Him and his wife, Vicky. And then here is the famous AMXR which is famous because it's a prototype for a rumble seat AMX. How do you see that? 394 speed. And then over here is the famous Gilmore Museum shell station. And they just started up the two, uh, or one of the drag cars that's on site. Can you please change this? Yeah. I'll walk over here. They do get each other's knees. Dick Harrell cars. They have been recommended booster shots for being 12 years and older. After completion of a primary heat. And the video I have is of this one that they just had running a little bit ago in the video. <laughs> this thing is, oh, this is the Fred Gibble. Yeah, Dick Harrell. The all brick car. And then out here, they're getting ready for the live band. And bunch of cool cars out here. All the old train stuff. Some swap stuff. For a first, for a first show, this is pretty darn good. Here's a few Thunderbolts. Or at least tributes. I'm not sure. I don't know them well enough. That's a pretty car, though. Oop, I'm sorry. Did you get a picture? Oh, okay. Okay, that's not a Thunderbolt. Still a very nice car. Big old Galaxy. Oh, there's a bunch of cars over here. Internationals and trucks. Of course, I love the old train station and the depot I just showed you. I think this might be where they're going to put the museum. There's going to be an American Muscle Car Museum 
here on the property. There's the attack dog. Nice, 396 SS Nova. You'll see one of these in one of my upcoming barn find videos. Maybe two of them, I forget how many he had. Nice, 66 Barracuda. Interestingly done, like a 72 Cuda AR 71 kind of mix up. a 392. That's neat. Beautiful 70 AMX. And right next to it, 6-pack Ooh, rubber bumper car. Side moldings. Beautiful purple. Rear window louver. That is neat. There goes a 70 Cuda six pack car. The sound of my people. Oh, there goes a the Challenger the other way. That's not going to cause shenanigans. Just a W30 driving away. That is a good sound as well. Nice Super Duty Trans Am. What? Of course. All right. Pro Street AMX, Pro Street Nova, or Chevy 2. SS 396 convertible. Le Mans GT. Something you don't see very often. <laughs> 70 Roadrunner, burnt orange here. Another machine. I think this one's been restored though. From what I heard from a guy. Yeah, this one's perfect. Nice Trans Am. Another Power Tour participant. And then what we got? Oh, I want to show the comet. I love my comets. Where I lost one. Oh no, there's. Oh no, that's a fair lane. Sixty six comet, I believe. And then uh, Mercury Capri. Oh, four twenty seven Fairlane. Fairlane five hundred. Nice Chevette or El Camino. And I'll finish up with my friend's wing cars. Beautiful black 442. It's unfortunate we have to walk past Abby again. Boo, I know. Thankfully, we will go outside of her striking distance. Here's that Day 2 Camaro. Here's a supercharged Studebaker Avanti. And then a very nice 69 Daytona Hemi car. See, Paul Mac on the floor. <laughs> That's funny, the elephant toys. And then we got. No, no, no. We don't want to break your camera. We got a 76 pack Superbird. 
And then we got a 7444 barrel Super Bird. And I've actually driven this one a few times. Out it's a beautiful car. Had the same problem, but, you know, it's going to be judged this year at McAcken. 444 speed. We've actually gone on adventures in this car. Plenty of shenanigans. 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 And then my friend Todd's 71 Charger, mildly modified. Todd hates this car though. Right, Todd? Hate it. Hey. Then a Kale Yarborough or Kale Yarborough special. And then uh, we'll actually finish up at the 71 Challenger because why not? Load Red Wagon. 73 GTO. And probably my favorite of the show is 71 Challenger RT 3D3 wide hood molding. Oh man, this is like what my car will be. Sort of. Beautiful car. Okay, there's one more video I'm going to put right after this of the dragsters starting up, but it gets really loud. So I wanted to warn you now to turn down your volume because it gets pretty darn loud. With being from Illinois, I've been able to travel around the Midwest quite a bit. And there was cars that I saw at the McCacken at the Gilmore that I had never seen before. In combinations, like you saw that Ram truck with the uh, Pro Stock, uh, I think it was the Chevelle or the Camaro on the back. This is really a good location with plenty of room. And this year, it's going to be even better. I know they're changing the layout a little bit. They're going to move some stuff around the food was good the people were amazing the weather was great you know it's only a few hours from chicago it's only a few hours from detroit it's only a few hours from basically everywhere and you can stay right there's a town not far from there that's where if i had been smart i would have you know stayed the night and you know not almost fallen asleep at the wheel on the way home but i didn't thankfully pulled over took a little nap made at home no problem but this show i'm so glad that i got to partake of it and really get in on the ground floor because i feel that it's going to really take off i mean there was i think 200 cars were there total and yeah it was a little spread out like i said there next year they're going to probably put it in the field where the mopar show usually is and then move some stuff around but the quality of the cars, the amount of really cool cars, I mean, Shelby's, Hemi's, you saw it all, it was really fun to see in such a beautiful setting. So if you have the opportunity, definitely make it there on June 28th, I believe. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video from the McCacken at the Museum event. That took place at the Gilmore Museum in Michigan. The second annual show will be going on this year at the Gilmore, June 24th. So watch the McCacken page for more information. And I'm actually filming this right before I leave for the Muscle Cars at the Strip. And if you are seeing this on Monday, I'll actually be at the Dodge Last Call event doing all kinds of shenanigans. 
So come and see me. I'll be there. And if you guys have any comments or questions, of course, you can leave them in the uh, comments below or any of the social media, which is in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next Monday because, as you know, every Monday, new video. Stay safe until then.